Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And thank you for stopping by. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes opening up your mind and your just your world to me. And you know, you just send out positive vibes towards me as I do the same for you and just other people and the the community which is so gratefully appreciated for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of my video or you're just telling me about the empathic gift that you've been placed with. It's all greatly appreciated. Or if you feel like the video was, you know, gave you some good understanding or even just put a good place in your heart, go ahead and pass it along. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope that you're able to get something out of the content of my video today. And the beautiful meditation music I'm listening to today is so heavenly. I don't know, is I don't know what the words you want to put for it, but it's called deep sleep meditation, positive thinking, subconscious cleaning, and relaxing music. So I'm definitely gonna post that link in the description box below. Who doesn't need positive thinking or just positive energy just to flow into their life? I know I do it each and every day. So I love to go ahead and pass that on to y'all. You know, and you go ahead and get up on that link and meditate yourself. It's only, um, you know, like 22 minutes. So it's not bad if you just need that, you know, while you're on a 30-minute break or something like that. You might need a break from your, your job or something like that. That would be the best thing to do. But anyways, <laughs> my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't be afraid of your special gift. You know what? When I was going through this stuff, it's just amazing how things came at me. It's just so amazing to me. And it's just, you know, it was scary at first, you know, because I wasn't really wanting to tap into some of the stuff that, you know, came into my life. You know, I really did. And it was just like finding out all these things about myself and then wanting to make videos about them and just worrying about how people thought and, you know, how are people going to come at me and what were they going to think of me. And I'm just like, you know what, I had to not be that way. You know, you have to be able to embrace all sides of yourself, especially if it's yourself. You have to love every aspect of yourself. You have to be able to, you you want to know everything about yourself. And it's just like, it seems like we did not get to a chance to know ourselves until we went through a tragic situation. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it could be anything. It could be really anything. And it was just like, Dag, I thought it was when my dad passed away. If I really want to get technical about it, it happened way back in 2005 when my mom when my mom was diagnosed with all this cancer and aneurysms and tumors and stuff like that. So having to see my adopted mom go through stuff like that, and you know, that that was enough. You know, so I went through the awakening. You know, it was just like, you know, before she had passed away, seeing that movie again, Constantine, it was like heaven on earth, you know, heaven and hell on both sides. And my mom smack dead in the middle with her two friends with me. And they're trying to drag me back, telling me, no, we got to go. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to take my mom with me. But my mom was like, she had to go. And I would have these dreams like almost every night. So it was preparing me for the things that I was about to go through which I was not trying to embrace. Because I told my mom, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I keep having these dreams about you every night. And it's just like one is on heaven, heaven on one side and hell's on the other. And it was just like I had to decide which side of the street I wanted to be on. And you were trying to guide me there. So it was just like going through that and then seeing all the stuff that I'm going through now. You know, it made a positive impact in my life. So I embrace my darkness as well as heading towards light with my darkness. So it's just like, you know, don't worry about what people think of you. People going to say stuff about you every day. They, you know, they talk about Jesus Christ on the cross and this man doesn't sit up here and sacrifice his life and save this from our sins. So, you know, he did a lot. So it's just like when we find these things out read up on everything you need to read up on find out every characteristic that you go through that might seem abnormal to you 
it might be something that you are not ready to embrace. You have to be able to face everything head on, even if you truly don't understand it. And it's just like, obviously, you have some serious stuff to be dealing with if you had to come deal with me. <laughs> because I've been going with some crazy stuff. And it's just the fact is, when you come to me and say, you know, Rosalind, I'm going through this and this and this and that. Does this sound familiar to you? Or do you understand what I'm talking about? I'm like, oh, yes, I went through this and this and this and that. So it's just like so good I can collaborate with your stories that's going on in your life give you some kind of understanding and a peace of mind to let you know you are not crazy. You are not by yourself. We are all scared of the things that we don't know. Even when it comes to, you know, we've been limited on the things what we should not do, what our parents say, what our government say, what the law says, this and this and that. Bump that. You know, I might abide by the rules on the law or whatever. I ain't trying to go to jail because the orange ain't the new black for me. But I'm just saying, I'm going to go cross that limited belief. I'm going to go as far as I possibly can with myself, with my mind, with the knowledge I can possibly do to spread out to the world. Like, hey, you're going through awakening, so wake up. <laughs> so wake up. This is what you need to know about yourself because change is coming for us. And you have to be prepared. So embrace your, you know, embrace your special gift. Allow your things to come through with the fusion or fusion or whatever you want to call it. Say fusion. Fusion abundance all the things that you need to know in life about yourself embrace that don't you know when you hear about something don't turn a blind eye because that's not something you want to hear right now i do that a lot especially if there's something i don't want to hear you know i have to be able to face that like okay that's not something i want to hear that's that ugly truth but you know we i have to do it towards people every day you know, whether it's a positive or negative impact on their life, I'd rather for it to be a positive one. It'll be, it'll still be positive, but it's just only how they look at it. So it's just like when you come into to your awakening and you start finding out things about yourself that you're not aware of, go ahead and look that stuff up. Find out everything you possibly are. You know, if you feel like you're a shaman, trust me, you're not just only a shaman. If you find like you're a hayoka, you're not all a hayoka, because I guarantee you there is so many empaths that are coming towards me right now that are so multi-gifted that it's not even funny so you know tap into other things you know just because you're set on one thing don't just go for that one thing if something else comes to you especially if you're on youtube a lot if something else comes to you that is not in the norm and there is nothing normal about us we were not born to fit in we were born to be unique and extraordinary so you have to be able to embrace all them things. When stuff falls in your lap, you're like, what is this? I don't know what this is. I, 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 what, what am I supposed to do with this? Read it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. When you ask for that sign, trust and believe, universe is going to make that information fall into your lap. Or it's going to dag on sure enough, you know, lead you towards that path to get there. So I hope you are able to get something out of that message. You know, you were able to resonate with what I had to say. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you. You know, especially when you open up your world to me as I open up my world to you. And help you heal as I'm doing the same. You know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on every any social media you see fit. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I hope you enjoyed your weekend. And I hope you were safe and responsible. And I will talk to you later. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly loved. And know that you are blessed and definitely highly favored. You know, there's always somebody out there playing, praying. I don't know why I say playing. Praying for your better days. And I will see y'all on my next video. Peace and be wild.